Good morning, wrestling fans. Today is Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. Lance Brack here. <coughs> Sorry about that. On this Tuesday morning, last night was not only an episode of Monday Night Raw, but it was the Raw After Mania. As usual, on the Raw After WrestleMania, we got some surprises. Like the NXT champion, Ila Dragunov, and the new NXT women's champion, Roxanne Perez, showing up and having matches, getting victories, dragging off, defeating Shinsuke Nakamura, and Roxanne Perez defeating Chelsea Green. And we got another appearance from John Cena showing up was only in the match towards the end the last couple of minutes but teaming with Awesome Truth for a six man tag against the Judgment Day speaking of the Judgment Day both Judgment Day has now both the WWE World Heavyweight Champion and the Women's World Heavyweight Champion with Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley which I think this could definitely be good for the Judgment Day there's been some times where I don't really want to say the Judgment Day, I wouldn't really say they were stale or anything, but kind of not really sure where they were going. But now they could definitely be a strong and dominant faction in WWE. And now we know after the number one four-way contenders match, is that Jay Uso is now in line for a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship against Damian Priest. Should definitely be interesting. I think that Jay Uso and Damian Priest definitely be a pretty good match. And also we found out next week on Monday Night Raw that the Intercontinental Championship will be on the line as the new champion Sami Zayn after he ended the historic reign of Gunther at WrestleMania. We will see Sami defend against Chad Gable. Recent weeks Chad Gable's been working with Sami Zayn, training, working out with him to get him prepared for the match with Guthner. And now they will go one-on-one. I think this could be a really good match and a chance to have Chad Gable look really good like the IC title match he had against Guthner on Raw last year where he had a very strong performance against Guthner even though yes he did lose that match but he looked great in it and then they kind of went back to kind of some of the joking comedy stuff with the Alpha Academy but now lately the last couple weeks 
him and Sammy training kind of got more serious. And I think that they should definitely put him in there against Sammy. Have him look really good. Maybe have him come close to winning the title a few times. But I don't see them taking the title off of Sami Zayn just yet. Going to be, again, like I said, a very good match. But definitely, I think Sami Zayn is going to be returning. Or retaining, I should say. Next Monday on Raw. And... This Friday, SmackDown actually is here in Detroit at the Little Caesars Arena. Unfortunately, right now, it does not look like I'll be attending, but if anybody from WWE is listening right now, feel free to help out 360 Wrestling Podcast with a couple tickets. Email 360 Wrestling Podcast at gmail.com. Feel free. And being advertised so far for SmackDown on Friday, the new undisputed WWE Universal Champion Cody Rhodes and the new WWE. Women's champion Bailey. So, not really a whole lot being advertised on SmackDown this week. Once again, from Little Caesars Arena here in Detroit, Michigan. And also, tonight we have a new episode of NXT on USA at 8 p.m. Eastern with all the fallout from last Saturday afternoon's Stand and Deliver event. Also, a new episode of Dark Side of the Ring which features a wrestler I do know of but I wouldn't say that I know a whole lot about Chris Bolt. I think, yeah, I think that's tonight. I wouldn't say I know a whole lot about him. But that is all for this Tuesday morning episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. I just want to thank everyone for tuning in this morning. Remember, in the comment section, you can go there. You can still leave your thoughts on WrestleMania weekend. And also your thoughts and your opinions on last night's Raw After Mania. And I haven't really had a chance to talk about this yet, but... I won't get into it too much now. I'll talk about it on another episode more. Probably tomorrow, but... Tomorrow, I'll probably preview tomorrow's AEW Dynamite here on the Wednesday episode of AEW Dynamite. And I'm sure you have heard about it by now. There's something pretty big being advertised. And like I said, I'll talk more about it tomorrow morning. But until then, have a great Pro Wrestling Day.